Complex applications have more than one screen. For example, if you think about a game, you may have a menu screen, a high scores screen, and a gameplay screen. This video is brought to you by Abby Pies Academy. Well, the pages concept in jQuery Mobile lets you place multiple screens in your app pretty easily. Let's start with the basic concept of a page. It's put inside a logical division. So we'll start with our div tag, and we're gonna give this the data role attribute from jQuery Mobile page. And then I'm gonna close that div. And I always put a reminder down here what I'm closing, because as nesting becomes more complicated, it's easy to lose track of what closing div tag closes which div. Now there's three parts to a page each represented by its own div. So we'll go ahead and identify these in a minute, but here are the three divs that represent the three parts. The top part, as you probably could guess, gets the data role header. The middle part, which is the primary container for the page, gets the data role content. And the third part, you probably have already guessed, gets the data role footer. So now we can put in here any content we want. So maybe we have the intro to programming in the header and content, I don't know, welcome to intro to programming. And then maybe in the footer we have uh, copyright, so we'll do the copyright character entity, which is ampersand copy 2016. So if we look at just this, you'll see what jQuery Mobile does already with just this little bit of markup. So we have our header, we have our content area, and we have our footer. Now, of course, we could style these more if we wanted to, but those are the basic styles. So if we take a look at this and we emulate the mobile device, that's really small, but you get the idea. You can see the header, the footer, and the content. Let's go back to our iPhone 4. You see header, footer in there, very, very small. Okay. So now that we have this, we actually can also create multiple pages within our document. So I actually could create a second page entity and I'll do that with copy and paste to save time. Now the second page entity will be hidden initially. So if we save it and we take a look at this in the browser, we're going to see page one, but page two is going to remain hidden. On page two, it says this is page two, but we can actually move back and forth by using IDs that we give each page div. We'll simply call them page one and page two. And using my earlier example, this of course could be high scores page, gameplay page, title page, etc. You can have as many of these as you need for your individual app. So now that we have page one and page two, we need a way to move between them. Now I'm gonna do this very, very simply with an actual link. So let's go ahead and put inside the content here. Maybe we'll use paragraph tags to separate this. So there's our first paragraph tag. And our second paragraph tag will simply say page two. And I'm going to surround that with a link. I could use a button here too if I wanted to, but I'm going to use a link to make it simple for this example. So you can apply this to anything that you do. And the link is going to be to the ID for the page that we'd like to go to. So in this case, pound page two. All right, so now we can check it again here in our browser. There's our link to page two. And then we see the page two content. On page two, we could put a link back to the initial page. So we'll do like a start over link here. 
start over. We'll surround that with a link. And all I'm gonna link to is the ID of where I'd like to navigate. In this case, we gave it the ID page one, so pound page one, because it's an ID. So now we actually have two pages in our document. Of course, we could navigate with buttons, we could navigate with links, just about anything you wanted to do. But here we have our document with a header, a content area, and our link between the two documents. Now, the only other thing I want to do is I want to anchor the footer to the bottom of the document. So the way I'm going to do that is with another attribute value pair that's specific to jQuery mobile, and that's data position fixed. I'm going to put it in both headers and both footers. Let's get the page two header and the page two footer. Make sure we save and let's take a look at our document. And now notice our footer is down there at the bottom of the screen. It's fixed in place, which is what we would want in a mobile app. So in this segment, you learn to use the jQuery mobile page metaphor to create single page and multiple page mobile applications.